me and Simon are back out again. First camp for six weeks. Or thereabouts. Last camp we done was Mole King Horion. You may have seen that video. Today we're in North Wales again and we're going to be a couple of swingers today. Me and Simon are going to camp in hammocks. We've recently bought hammock um, setup so we're going to try them for the first time today. Really looking forward to it. I haven't put them up before. So yeah, let's go. I'm not sure if you can make it out, but there is a steam train over there which is on the Welsh Highland Railway and it looks like it's going, obviously going that way and it's going towards um, Beth Gellert well firstly you go to Reed V, then Beth Gellert and, then, and onward then to towards Blind and Um We've sussed out a hammer camping spot because we came over earlier to have a look around we found some nice nice little spots over there with nice trees, nice levelish ground and I'm going to take a look up um, I bet there's a bit of a clearing that goes up to the right there's some trees up there so I might even go up there and have a look before we actually set up because the the um, spot we've picked from earlier is, is quite near the path so We'll have a look and then we'll make a decision when we get over there. Yeah, so I'm on that clear I said earlier. I'm going to follow this path up here now and those trees and see if it's doable for a uh, Hammock set up. If it's not, we're going back down and uh, do our original plan. I've just been amongst those trees, and there's options for hammock setups to go there. Um, it's way off the path. You've got some amazing views. Uh, snow down here, so I'll go and see Mark now and see what he says. Ah. Oh. We found our spot. We've come up away from the lake because it was a bit close to the path. So I'm gonna hang my hammock between that tree and that tree. And Simon is going down here. And he's having that one and that one. Decent spot, man. I don't think we'll get um, disturbed up here. There's more chance down there, it's right by the path, but yeah, this is decent. Right, let's get our hammocks up. I haven't said that before. Simon's got the one wind tempest. 11 foot hammock and I've got the one wind airstream 11 foot mine's got the um, the wind sock with it as well but I won't I don't need that tonight it's got the bug nets they're going to be needed because the flies <laughs> they are everywhere and they're quite annoying I think they're horse flies, they're big things, you know. So right, let's crack on. So there's a hammock set up. Well you've got you've got these two tree straps either end 
connects onto a cinch buckle at either end. But I'm not happy because if this is the first time I've taken it out of the bag and there's a rip by there where the um, where the zip is. So a bit pissed off to be honest, so I'm gonna have to send this back to the, the place where I bought it from. Yeah, really annoying, but it'll have to do for tonight. The hammock's up. We've got um, DD taps as well, 3.5 by 3.5 ta um, taps. Not expecting any rain tonight, but you know what it's like. We're going to put them up anyway just to um, see what it looks like. Simon's just, um, Simon's clearing some tussocky grass underneath his because when he gets in his hammock his ass is rubbing on the grass like so yeah he's having a bit of a clear up down there so we're going to put the um, taps up now and see what they're like we're probably not going to need a tarp tonight because it's um, forecast is dry weather but if you can see the ridge line there's a loop on one end and it's called the uh, the one wind ridge line reel so you don't have to tie knots you have a prusik attachment there you've got this reel the cord goes around the tree and then you tension it up on this little metal attachment hang the reel on there so you have a prusik knot one end and one on the other end and I'll put the tarp over the top and then the two carabiners through the loop of the tarp in the centre and then straighten the process knot and then tighten the tarp up on the line then so I will do it because I've never done it before I just want to see what the setup looks like so put the tarp up now give that a go so I set the tarp up I don't think it's perfect but it's not, not bad for the first attempt like I said I'm not going to need a tap really but I just want to see what it was like with this so there's the carabiners on the loop you can actually put the um, the tab for the loops on the top but I've tried it before and it seemed a bit low so I'd rather just have it straight over the ridge and use these carabiners and attach it to the prusset knot, it's not going anywhere. So there's a ridge line reel. I think I prefer this because I've been looking at doing knots on YouTube and to be honest, it's a bit of a faff, but I will learn how to do them in time. But for the time being, I think it's a good, it's a good bit of kit. This is like to be fair, you know, to be fair, it's easy enough to use. The line's nice and tight. So all I've got to do is put the under quilt on now. But before I do that, I'll give Mark a hand doing his tarp as well. As you can see, I've got the camo, the multi cam version. And Mark has got just a plain green. Pine green, I think it is. Pine green. So, yeah, I'll give Mark a put out now. So, that's Mark's ridge line reel attached to both trees now. Just a case of putting a tab over the top now and securing that down. With the four guy lines and the pegs and the carabiners. Well, this is taking shape over here now. Mark's tab is on. Got the old carabiners on the prusik knots each end. It's all staked out with his cyclone stakes. The actual stakes you get with the DZ tarp are like fish hook kind of stakes, but I uh, don't, not keen on them. They're only very, um, a bit cheap to be fair. But uh, those cyclone stakes are the, are the go to stakes, I reckon. Like, what do you reckon, Mac? Yeah, for a the tarp, they're good for a the tarp. They're good in soft ground as well, see? Mm. Ideal for a tarp. So there's Mark set up. Beautiful location as well. All the mountains of Snowdonia. 
Snowden is over. Where is it, Mark? Over that way. In between those trees there. Though. Yeah, you just see Snowden. There's my setup, my tarp blending in with the surroundings. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the, um, the underquilt on now. Never done it before, so stay tuned. So I've shown you the outside of the hammock, this is the inside. There's a structural ridge line. And what I've got in here is my head torch, which I can, I've put in a loop, I can use that as a lamp. Um, you get these plastic loops, so I got one to hang my glasses on, and this came with a hammock. I didn't know it came with a hammock because I bought one as well. There's another one. It's a ridge line organizer. I think that was four or five pounds. I think. So I got my battery charger in that one, and in this one I've got my phone cable and then on this process I've got my reading glasses so it's all nice and cosy in here now so there's my sleeping bag just show you around yeah I'm happy with this setup I just hope I've done it right and I have a good night's sleep so we'll find out in the morning how we got on? I might even pull this side of the tarp back over temporary so I can have a, a view of the mountains like. Because at the moment I'm well covered. No, that's awesome. The only thing we're not happy with is Mark um, has opened his hammock. I've straight out of the bag, he's never even took it out of the bag before. And um Basically, that there's all the zips broken, so we're gonna send it back either to where um, he bought it from, or maybe just back to one wind, and it can hopefully sort it out for him because that's, that's not good. Anyway, so we're gonna just chill out here for a bit, and then we get back to you a bit later on. I can hear it, but I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Biggest mountain rescue. We got some stunning views up here, mind. Fantastic. Simon's just cracked open a can. So that means one thing, it must be beer o'clock. We're having a sit down now, having a bit of a, a chill. And uh, bloody midges around here, and real. So, what people say is midges in Scotland, it's bloody midges in Wales as well. Bloody buzzer on my head, nightmare. So, I brought a, brought my chair tonight. It's soaking wet because we went to a campsite um, last night in Lanyard Lois. Mark had his camper van, so we stayed there for the night. It's soaking wet. I left this outside all night. I should have brought it in. Forgot. So we're gonna put this on there to sit on, otherwise I'm going to get a soak behind. But I'm not sure if you can see these midges, obviously real, real small, but they're bloody everywhere. It's really uncomfortable like. So, we'll have some food soon. Nothing special, just uh, something to eat, chicken tikka with rice. These were on offer in uh, millets. It was two for I think it was £8.40, I think it was. So I bought two of those. So I'm going to have that. And my favourite crisp ever. Real roast ox. Tell you what, whenever I go in houses, I buy a bag. And this, unless you get it early in the morning when they've stocked all the shelves, you won't get a bag because they just go straight away. So I've got a bag of those. Mark has got... Let's have a look what you got here. I got a Wicked Kitchen sweet potato and free bean chilli. Says you've got a microwave it, but I'm going to 
stick it in my skillet. <coughs> I've got a pot noodle, beef and tomato, of course. Why do you oh. have a cheese and a chicken and what's the other one? Chicken uh, and mushroom, isn't it? I don't, I don't like them. Do you? No. Not my What's that for breakfast or porridge, is it? Porridge for breakfast, I got. Bag of mega buttons. I think I've got chocolate as well, haven't I? And I got these um, pepperoni chicken tikka bites. Never had them before, so. Might be good. Give them a go. I forgot, I got a mess as well. A few cans of um, the Herefordshire fire water. That's standard, isn't That's it? Standard. And these midges are doing my friggin' head in. I brought God. some. I brought some smidge, right? Um, I thought it was in my bloody rucksack, but it was in my it was in my other bag in Mark's camper van. So I'm not going back to get it. I have to just uh, persevere, persevere and suffer. I think. But as soon as we get in the in the, in the hammocks, it'll be fine because there's mesh on it, so it should be good. Hopefully, when I turn the gas on and the um, I like the gas uh, the stove. Hopefully they'll bugger off, but uh, at the moment they're bloody pain in the ass. So yeah, bloody nightmare. Oh, I'll tell you what, get them. Never had them before. Bloody lovely. Give me one. What do you want one? Oh, nice. I like it. Hmm. I don't rob all his food, no. So I've got my jet boil skillet and my Soto Windmaster stove. Gonna cook this up tonight. I think I'll leave the pot noodle for another night. I'll take that back home. Yeah, but this looks nice. Free bean chilli and rice. Heat that up and give that a go. Tell you what, we are. We are getting eaten alive here with these midges. They're an absolute nightmare. But luckily, I found it. You found this smidge. I knew it was in my bag somewhere. It was right at the bottom. So we're going to spray down on ourselves now. God almighty. <laughs> an absolute nightmare. Anyway, the food's nearly done. I'll give that a taste now and I'll mark it out of 10. And there you know what that's like. And then you might buy it for yourself. I don't know. It's an absolutely perfect evening up on this hill. Probably too perfect because if we had a bit of wind, I think these midges would have buggered off, but they're still hanging around and just being double annoying. But it's a cracking place, absolutely cracking views. That's amazing. We went to another place this morning, <clears throat> um, not far from here, which is a place called Llyn uh, Llewellyn. It's a lake, but we couldn't find any um, suitable pitches. We found some um, a place in the woods, but we wanted to get, we, we wanted views, so. We thought we'd check this place out and I'm disappointed to be fair, so I, I think we made the right decision by looking elsewhere to get a better pitch, so sunshine over here on Snowden now. Awesome. Many of Mauer over there. That's the start of the Lanthal Ridge again, it goes round. Oh, it's picture perfect. Did I mention earlier it was DD using DD tabs? Just let you know DD tabs plus one wind hammocks. Oh, spot on you. So, yeah, um. Now we've got the gear now, we're going to do more hammer camps in the future. Our main focus is obviously tents, but yeah, when when we feel like doing a hammer camp, we'll do one, so 
bit of a variation to the channel. Yeah, it's beautiful to be there, spot on it. I'm not sure if you can see these, but... That's what not going to deal with. <laughs> they're just not giving up. Absolute nightmare. It won't dampen up a spirits, but it's starting to pee me off now. God. You probably can't see them flying around my head, but they're so small, but... Gee whiz. And you see it better now, look at that. <laughs> it's probably been attracted by a light as well, because I've got a light on my, on, my, on my GoPro. Unbelievable. I know it's dark, but Mark has got an app on his phone called Chirp. And we heard a Tony Owl. So Mark's played. Mark has played the noise of a Tony Owl on his phone, and his owl's just circling round and flying between the trees. It's mad. Let's try it again. Try it again. Ready? This is my phone now. That's the phone. I've turned it off. It's mad. That's the, that's the real owl. I'll do it again now. It's mad. See I was just so sort of, yeah, yeah. Past. yeah. I was mad, wasn't it? Crazy. He's close, isn't he? He's really, really close, like. Flown over there. That's fascinating. I'll do it again now. Keep the camera rolling. So the call you're sending out now, is that a female or a, or a male owl? I'm not sure. So that now is the phone. That's a real owl. That's a real owl. It's not far away. Poor owl, he must be confusing him what he's doing like. I know. I'll do the other call now. Um, see if I can bring it back over. Fascinating, isn't it? Wait a minute. Well, that was the app. Well, the owl flew across there, I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking, what the hell is going on? Amazing. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Couple of lights on Snowden. Right then guys, we are in our hammocks, it's been a great night, great afternoon, great day. We're going to set the alarm for 5 o'clock in the morning, hopefully get a sunrise. And until then, we'll see you in the morning. Good night.
It is about 10 past 5. Uh, we set the alarm for about 10 to 5 to hopefully get uh, a good sunrise. Um, I flipped the, uh, the tab back over so I can get good views out of the hammock. And this is the view we have got. All the mountains are pretty clear. Lake's nice and still, no wind around here. All the midges have uh, disappeared for the time being. So that's good news. So yeah, it was a good experience. Um, first night in this hammock. Slept really well to be fair. Um, I think I, well I did, I got up once about three o'clock and I went straight back to sleep so yeah, first first impressions. I'm impressed with this hammock and uh, really enjoyable, good fun. And this is what we do it for, the views. That's what we do it for, the views. Morning campers. I'm just lying here, hanging around. I've done the same as Simon. I've pulled, um, I pulled the tarp back over, over there. Look, you can see it. I've also taken, well, I've left the um, the um, bug mesh. I've unzipped that so I can just lie here, just look up to the trees and look at that view. And this is uh, everything I, I hoped hammocking would be, just lying here, chilling out, like, yeah, it's awesome, it is. As for the hammock, really comfortable. But I'm going to have to um, do what Simon's done and buy a under quilt. Because even though I'm in a down bag, I can still feel the cold on my back a little bit. It's not a lot, but you, you can just feel a bit of a nip on my back, so I'm gonna, definitely going to buy um, an underquilt. That'll be my next purchase, I reckon. But all in all, fantastic. Definitely going to do it again. Look at that. This is a life, isn't it? Yeah. It's mad. We've been here all night and all, all yesterday, all yesterday afternoon. We haven't seen one person up here. Midges are back, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I spoke too soon, didn't I? Don't want to leave this place. Anyway, best I think I'm getting up. No, I'm I'm quite happy. Coffee time. <laughs> Come on, chop chop. Get the water on. Will do, boy.